Hello? 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 <laughs> look, 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 chat. Look, chat. Look, hold on. <laughs> look, 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 look. Look, I just got a new headset, okay? I got the new Valve headset. I've got sick for brain. My brain isn't working. I didn't even think, I didn't even second guess that maybe when I plug the new headset in, I'd have to switch the default mic over. But look, we figured it out. It's good. It's on. Now I don't have to use my smashed, broken, horribly destroyed Valve Index that my stepdad <clears throat> slammed into a wall. Uh, he went. He ran face first into the wall and smashed my other index. It still worked, but man, it was rough. You guys hear me now? Hello? All right, I'm terribly sick. I'm sure you guys can hear it. Um, but I want to check the patch notes out uh, at least, so I don't know how long the stream is going to go on. Oh, yeah, don't listen to Tanite Bot. There's no giveaway happening. He's dumb. Uh, he's a little slow, but, you know, I'm going to smash him into uh, into understanding what's going on here. Let me see here. Disable. Okay, fixed. Um, do you think there's like, look, we've all been sick before. We've all sounded like trash. So I know, I know everyone can relate. But can you imagine? There's probably some guy out there. Do you think there is? There's like some guy out there who's never been sick. Does that guy exist? Can I meet him? I know. It smells like new plastic, this headset. Hello, everybody. Power hour. D damn, Dan's so sick his voice gone. Literally wasn't even working mic-wise. What's my IPD? I need to get it measured. I think it's somewhere around 67. Hello, Mr. Maisie, Marzi. I'm sick, but I'm here. I want to check the patch notes out. You keep crashing? Oh, God. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how this patch is going to be. I don't. We'll find out, though. We're going to basically test everything from top to bottom that they listed. And we're going to go over it in detail. And then we'll do a few matches to test stability. And see how things go. You're sick right now, Timma. Well, welcome to the sick crew. Oh my god, there's a bunch of sick people in chat. Welcome, I'm sick with you. Read us the script of the boar. Damn, so you guys are having a lot of issues. They said they nuked the bags, but I don't know if they actually did. Some people were saying neck snapping was being weird. Okay, no. <laughs> that works. Okay, hold on. Let's let's go to the safe house. I actually don't think they nuked the bags. Maybe they did. Oh my gosh, everything looks so good in this new headset. It's the same headset I've used in the past, but like... Damn, it looks good. Hey, they changed this. It looks like all my mags are kind of stuffed into the ground. That's fine. I've seen that happen before when a patch goes through. They did not wipe the bags. They were going to wipe the bags because they were going to remove, like, the key cards and stuff, but they just changed the color of the key card, which makes a lot of sense. Oh my god, everything looks so shiny in this new headset now. Pretty cool. Okay, so it looks like we have some misplacement on, like, stuff that was attached previously. But that's fine. You can just grab it and re-put it. That looks fine. That works fine. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> I think we just go from top to bottom, chat. Damn, why does the game look so good? Is it just because I have this new headset? Is that it? You guys like the new site placement? Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Look at the flashlight. 
Yes. Look, that's fine. As long as you can actually replace them properly. Why does the game look so good? Is it just the new headset? <laughs> or did the... I can't tell because we had a patch drop and... And I got a new headset. Why does the game look so good? Okay, so let's start from the top, chat. I've got a list here. We're going to go through it together. All right. Uh, so we're going to start on the right side here. They reworked reloading uh, mechanics to be physics-based uh, and more realistic. AK mags require you to insert the mag at an angle and rock it in. You can no longer insert mags at too great of an angle uh, relative to the mag well. Which, on paper, I think that sounds fine. And what that means in layman's terms is... If you have a mag, and let's say you were kind of close when you stuffed it in, it would still kind of work, you know? And even here, it feels pretty forgiving. Ooh, that feels nice, though. So you have to actually be accurate, <clears throat> a more accurate to where you're putting the mag in for it to work. And this is pretty forgiving. Like, look, I'm like halfway out, and it's still going in. So I think that's fine. Okay, that feels good. Let's see if the gun actually fires. Hmm. It wants to grab the gun. There we go. God, look at that. Shoots so straight. You do a pull down, right? Okay, that feels fine. I don't see anything wrong with that. Uh, but let's check out the AK, because the AK was the most prominent change as far as... Uh, AK mags <clears throat> are angled. So they're supposed to be designed to go in the way they described in the patch notes. So you need to rock it forward to pull the mag out. Like you can't just pull it straight down, right? It's how it's designed. You can see it in the clip here. You can see this back a little clip. You see how this side of the mag has that little notch sticking out, whereas this front doesn't. So AK mags in real life, you need to kind of put the front in and then you rock it back in. And then same when you pull it out and look, okay? If you're struggling with it, you just need to practice it and you'll get it smoothly. It's pretty natural for me because, you know, I understand AK mags, IRL, so it makes sense. But for you, you're probably like slamming it straight in and it's, or trying to pull it straight out at, back at an angle this way and it's not working. But just know that you need to rock it. Look, it's fine. That works really nicely, actually. I think that's good. And the reason that's so important, especially with the AK mag slap, is do I have any. Do I have any AK mags sitting around? Got this one. Is because in order to slap the mag out, you're not really slapping the side. You're pushing it forward so it rocks out in the way that I was describing, right? So I should, and I haven't tried this until now, but I should be able to push this bottom forward out this way. with a bit of force, and it'll come right out. So that works much better than before. Perfect, that works really well. All right, that actually feels super good. It's very consistent. Oh, that feels good. That's really good, chat. Okay, props, props, props. I like that a lot. Sweet. Um, and then we're gonna... Hello, Rustic. Hello, all you chatters. We're gonna keep going through this list, all right? Yeah, so that was a really good change. Hello, give me your kit. Yeah, you're only fumbling the AK in high-stress situations now because you're not... You, you're used to how it worked beforehand, which actually wasn't realistic. This is much more realistic. So it's just one of those things that you're going to have to train your brain and your muscle memory.
for how AK mags actually work. And as you just saw, I was able to reload those consistently, right? All right, what's next on the list? Um, well, actually, let me take a look at the Glocks. Because they said they changed overall how mags work. So it shouldn't... It's still pretty forgiving. You can kind of slit it in at an angle. But overall, it just looks like... Just make sure you're actually putting the mag as close as you can into the mag well. Or else, you know, it's not going to work, right? If you're doing this kind of stuff, it's not going to work. So make sure you're, you're slotting it exactly in. Or very close to that. And that feels super good. I actually really like that. The mags feel really, really clean to reload now. I love that. Okay, good job, devs. What's next on the list? They added a new gun in game, but from what I've gathered, you can't purchase it at all because they forgot to add in, you know, the requirements to buy it. Even if you're a trader level 5, you can't buy it, but uh, it might still drop in game, so we might be able to see that gun in crates and things like that until they add the proper trader level to actually purchase it. So that's fine. Uh, what's next? <clears throat> new anti-cheat prevention measures. Uh, I saw a little bit of taste of this. Basically, you're going to get some warnings and notifications that, uh, like if you're out of bounds or doing weird stuff. Where did this whiteboard come from? Um, this is kind of cool. We got a little whiteboard, chat. I don't know what I'm drawing. There's going to be an AK, but this is so wrong. The resolution for the pen is really low. But cool, we got a whiteboard. So we can do, like, things to do. Or I could just have a... I wonder if this stays and doesn't wipe itself uh, when you reload, like, the game. So we can say hi, chat. Uh, cool. We have a whiteboard. Can I not actually grab the eraser? How do you erase? <laughs> okay, so you can write, but you can't erase. Cool. I guess we're going to be stuck with this. Mm, what else do we got? Um, <clears throat> they added plastic bottles, canteens, and thermos water sources. So, let's go to the market and see if we can see those things being sold. What up, girl? Let me see your new wares. Cool. So, I don't have them unlocked, so I'll have to find them. But we just have more sources for water, which is going to be a predecessor and very important for when we unlock the... Uh, the farming and the growing mechanics because you're going to have to water these plants with water that you find and bring out of raid so water is going to be incredibly important I would start well I mean I guess it doesn't matter because it's gonna wipe when when they release it but when they do wipe you're gonna want to actually bring water out it's a lot more valuable right now you see me leave water behind all the time because there's not much of a use for it I, I stay on top of my water just fine but uh, having enough water to water your crops and keep them healthy and growing is going to be super important. So just more avenues and containers to do that. So that's cool. And that'll be useful. Um, improved gripping bolts on sniper rifles. Do we have any rifles? I don't know if we do. Let's check. We're going to go through each one of these things on the list and, and check it out. Hello, Weston. I know, new update. We're checking it out together right now. Uh, it's going to be weed, chat. We're going to be growing weed. <laughs> That's at least that's what's been leaked over and over again. 
So we're going to be growing different medicinal plants. Um, and they potentially tease to like crossbreeding and basically different plants will give different benefits such as like heal over times or stamina regeneration uh any like we'll we'll have to see it's it's going to be different stuff like that do i have a sniper rifle uh i don't do i chat we can go buy one i'm poor though i don't have money i think we're going to have to sell some stuff should I sell some of these AK alphas just for quick cash? I kind of want to. We need the money right now. I think I'm going to sell these AK alphas. I know people in chat are probably freaking out. Don't sell the AK alphas. Bro, we need money so we can play with stuff. Alright, we'll sell the suppressor, the foregrip, cobra sight. The AK Alpha only sells for six grand. Okay, I'm not gonna sell it. That's it. Okay, yeah, we we're gonna lose way too much money selling these. So instead, what am I gonna sell? We got some crypto wallets in here, hack tools. This radio will sell decent. Power supply is okay. Thanks for the follow. Let me grab some money chat and then we'll move. Do I have another AK Alpha? I have three of them? What the heck? How do I have three AK Alphas? Uh, we could sell one of the Dragon Offs. They'll sell decent. Uh, let's sell this and see where we're at money-wise. We might be okay on money after this. Because we're going to buy a sniper rifle and work the bolt and see how it feels. And just test the difference. And keep the AP gunpowder. So far, everything feels really good, though. Yo! Who that? Oh my god, PJ, you're insane. Everybody at PJ and give him a bunch of love, especially if you pulled a, a, a sub from him. That is so kind of you. The site's in the air uh, just because when the new patch hit, it kind of moved everything around, so you just need to replace your sights on your guns and you'll be good. That is so sweet of you, PJ. Much, much love. All right, let's sell this stuff. Power supply, walkie-talkie, act tool, charger, electronic wallet, another, nuts and bolts, junk phone, power banks, PC fans. All right, how much money do I have? I got 43K. I should be able to buy a sniper. Do I have some extra stuff in here? a flash drive that might have some cash on it. Mm. See how much is on this flash drive. 2k. I'll take it. Alright, let's go grab a sniper. Uh, can we afford it? I think we can. Why does the game look so much nicer? Is it just my headset chat? <laughs> it might be. Oh, dude, an alms only 8K. All right, let's buy an alm then. We just need to work the bolt. I'll we'll grab a mag for it. What, where's the alm? Meg. Thanks for the follow. Where's the arm mag? Yo, you guys are crazy. JP, thanks for the sub. I'm just here sick and you guys are being so kind. I wanted to check the patch notes. We're going through it right now, Camden. 
It's true I don't have to buy it. I can just work the bolt here. Um, <clears throat> Guys, where's the mag for the arm? Hello? Oh, it's under bolt action. Okay, so they said... What did they say specifically? They said improved gripping bolt on sniper rifle. I never really had an issue with it before, but let's feel it. I mean, it feels solid. It feels good. I mean, I don't I don't have any qualms with it. I don't feel any bugs. Okay. So that feels nice. Uh, what's next? Improve performance by reducing the cost of trees and breakable glass. So let's go to the tutorial for this because there's some windows there. So before I noticed they had some weird kind of like effects on glass. It looks like it's still kind of there. You see how things are a little bit like weird and glitchy looking through glass. Let me get a gun and shoot it. Um, they had a big, like, draw in performance and power. This is the pistol station. Uh, when dealing with glass, both broken and unbroken. And it was making a lot of quest users in particular lag and people with lower end PCs. Okay, that's not breakable glass. <laughs> but uh, overall, we should see some nice um, frame improvements from that, as well as... Uh, as well as trees in the distance. So it's just overall optimization improvements. So that's good. Uh, they improve safe house item loading performance. Okay, so I noticed this. Hype train? Hype train? Is there one going? You guys are crazy. Like I said, I'm over here sick and you guys are just being so kind. Appreciate it. What up, JP Bikes? Thank you. It's kind of you to say. Silo's better again. Good. Yeah, we'll get. We're gonna get through it. We're gonna go through it top to bottom. Okay. Dude, thanks for the bits, Camden. Hello, Brooks. Uh, yeah. If you guys want TTS at all, it's just a hundred bits or more. Anything under a hundred bits won't be read out. Um. All right, so I noticed all the time, and maybe you guys have as well, but when you opened your door to your armory, the whole game would like hard freeze for like half a second uh, as you opened the door. So that's where they're hoping that they made some improvements. And so far, a lot less stutter. There's still a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, but it's much, much better. And the improved item loading should help with any disappearing items as well, even though that's been way less common uh, to happen since the last patch. So that's good. What else do we have, chat? Uh, improved trigger responsiveness on lids. So lids were kind of awkward before. Sometimes you couldn't pull them off. Sometimes it would. Sometimes it would just like crank off to the side. So now... Lids overall should just open and not bug out as often as they did before. So far, that looks really nice. Okay. What's next? Uh, grenade pin pulling is supposed to be better. We've talked about this a lot. Um, and we've, we've seen it firsthand on when we were sitting down and watching Scope OG try and kill me in the elevator. Um, but they claim the pins... Well, this pin's missing, because they're all right there. Uh, they claim that the pins are easier to pull. This pin is completely gone. Oh, I can still pull it, though. I hit myself in the face. So, <clears throat> I didn't have much of a problem pulling pins on grenades, so I can't really speak on this. But I know a lot of quest users and other people were having problems with it. But, um... I don't, I, I, I mean, the grenade is pulling out. Even if you don't see a pin, get your hand close. You see how you see that T? 
and you can pull that invisible pin out, pull the trigger to start it, give it a little toss, uh, and everything should be fine. So that's good. I hope a lot of people have seen better better use on that. So hopefully our quest users are going to be able to pull pins and grenades much easier. They improved AI behavior. We're going to have to check that one out in-game um, because it's a very generic statement. I don't know what exactly they improved, but we'll see. Uh, you guys are crazy. OG Two Toner Jr. Thanks for the sub, man. I appreciate that. My hand placements in the settings, they're default. I haven't changed anything in the settings. So whatever they are default, that's what they are for me. I'm guessing that's under controls? No. Gameplay? For those of you wanting to see my settings, I haven't changed anything. Everything is exactly as it is on default. And it feels good to me. It's a level 3 hype train? You guys are insane. Ooh, 7.4k crypto wallet. That's really good. We already did the AK mags. Uh, you missed it, Fearless Monk. You can go back and check the VOD for it, though. I think the AK mags are great. We're basically going top to bottom on the patch notes here. So now we're on AI behaviors. So we'll check that out in game. We'll get into a raid and try that out. Uh, improved water bottles with visible water line. Um... I don't know what they mean by that, but we can go grab a water bottle. Do I have one? I do have one. Oh, you can see the water inside. And it looks like you can drink the water from a lot farther away. You don't have to tilt it as much, so just kind of like push it close to your face and it'll drink it. So we can actually see how full the water is. That's nice. Okay. It's drinking the water from very far away, though, I gotta say. <laughs> okay, cool, though. And once again, we can see those lids coming off a lot a lot better and not buggy. Good stuff. Uh, what's next? Improved favorites list. So I'm gonna- I'm guessing that has to do with favorites here. Oh, yes! This is huge, chat. You remember how I'd always, like, try and click as many times as I can to buy multiple things? Well, now we actually have a quantity. Oh my god, that's such a big quality of life thing. So we don't have to spam, click the buy button, wait for it to refresh, and then buy more. We can just pick the amount that we want and call it a day. It's possible that the list is longer as well. It looks like they made the font smaller here so we can fit more on the screen. Uh, that's a huge improvement. Glad to see that. Very glad to see that. It is my day off, Big Al. But I wanted to check out the patch notes real quick. <laughs> Good to see your name, though. Uh, what is next? Improved performance of small gun components. So these are just like tiny parts of guns, okay? Different things that you're going to see. And it's just overall probably performance for frame rate. So this should help a lot with our um, frames per second, especially for those people that are on standalone quest. So hopefully you guys will see a little bit more uh, frames boosted, especially when you're carrying or you're with friends that have a gun on their backpack, they have a gun on their chest, they have a gun in their pistol pouch, they have two guns in their hands, right? And you're having to render all of that as well as you carrying a bunch of guns. So it should help there. Uh, they fixed inconsistencies with the AK mag slapped. We tested that all out already, and it feels so much better. So yes, that's good. They fixed various bugs with the helmet attachments, such as night vision goggles. Now, I'm assuming what they mean by this is everybody knows and everybody has seen, especially since all the dupers were around doing crazy stuff uh, and duping night vision goggles, that when you killed somebody that had night vision goggles, the helmet would fucking spin around like crazy when you'd pick it up. Um, I'm assuming they mean they fixed that. We'll have to see for sure over time, or just the overall attaching and detaching of the night vision as well. Um, so that's good, that's good. 
Um, <clears throat> they fixed character footstep sounds not being played at the correct position when you're using room scale. What this means is the footstep sounds would typically just be played wherever the center of the room scale was or wherever you recentered yourself. But if I move over here without using the control, control stick and I run, the footsteps would be playing over there where I was standing last rather than where I actually am in room scale. So that's good. It's a good adjustment. They fix nerds going into the knife pouch. So we're going to have to test this out. Do I have a knife pouch on any of my chess modules? Because what this means is we can have quick access to nerds again, chat. Uh, let's go... Let's go buy a knife module, and we'll test this out. And we'll see if we can put a nerd in our knife pouch again. Because it would be really nice if we could. I'm just gonna buy one of these. I'm pretty sure I have some at home, but just in case. My cousin just got the game, he's not seen a single video of it. I kind of like that, just have him go in raw. Like, experiencing a game fresh with new eyes, I think it's like, it's like the most fun thing I could do. Thanks for the follow. Caden, yeah, when we do, um, Caden's asking if I can add him on Tabor. Uh, when we do community day, uh, I add everybody who wants to get into Raid, and we'll be doing another one of those in the future. Okay, so we got knife modules, we'll go check it. Yeah, I'm sick, Inzer. My voice is gonna sound a little bit more, uh, raspy, you know? Alright, let's grab a chest. And we'll try this nerd's pouch out. Yeah, if you guys are ever looking for people to play with, you can join the Discord, exclamation mark Discord. And there's plenty of people who want to group up and play together. So give it a try. Obviously, nobody's going to like everybody, but you might find someone you really, really like playing with. Oh no, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Is it supposed to work? I don't know what fix means. Does fix mean make it not work? Or maybe some people were still getting it to work? And it shouldn't have been? Yeah, I'm not getting any icon. Okay, so that's not a thing. I'm not sure what they meant by that. Maybe people were still able to do it, and they didn't want them to be able to do it? Yeah, it's definitely not working. Okay, well... I'm not sure what they meant by fixed nerds going into knife pouch. Um, fixed backpack physics issue? Okay. So we're going to have to see this over time, but what they're hinting at and meaning is we should see less of this, like, spinning, flying backpacks when we pick up stuff from other players or we put a bunch of stuff in our own bags and it starts behaving weird and flying around and doing weird stuff, which is much needed. It's gotten a lot better, but we still see remnants of it. Uh, so good. I hope that's actually the case. What's next? They fixed the vector irons not folding down. Some people were dealing with issues with the vector where the back iron sights weren't folding down when you'd put a sight on it. Uh, so that shouldn't be happening anymore. They fixed the elevator door spam grab exploit. This is where you would grip a ton and really quickly and it would super fast open the door without making much noise. I think that's good. Uh, it should be that way, because uh, it's intended to make a bunch of noise when you open the door, and it's supposed to be a slow, intentional open. 
fixed potentially some quest users were getting this error that you see here uh, and crashing. So let's hope they did. I know a lot of quest users have been dealing with lots of crashes and this one was a pretty prominent one. So I'm hoping for all you quest users that you see this less often, but they put the words potentially because they're unsure if they actually nailed it or not, uh, but they're giving it a try. So apparently the Makarovs had a mag release button and they shouldn't have. I don't think I even have a Makarov to test it out. Uh, but I'll try it when I get one. You can't overpack the backpack as much? Okay, we'll have to test that out. It's good to know. I don't use a gun stock myself to Blizzard Beast, but... Um, so I can't really speak on it if it's if it's good to have or not. But if you've seen my past gameplay and seen my videos on YouTube and are impressed with my aim and accuracy, just know I'm doing all of that without a physical gun stock. So it's not necessary, but um, you might see some benefits from it. I think um, <clears throat> I'm going to reach out to MagTube and ProTube, the company, and they'll probably send me one that I can test out, uh, and we'll spend a, one day on stream chat together where I'll give my honest feedback on, on a gun stock. So next on the list is they fixed an issue where entering a raid and checking your mag will cause it to lose ammo. Um, I haven't experienced this myself. But I'm guessing it has something to do with you'd hit deploy and then you'd check your mags, pull them out, look through them, maybe give them a shake and put them in and it would delete some ammo. Uh, so that shouldn't happen anymore, which would be terribly annoying. So that's good. Uh, they fixed drawers in the armory stretching things. Uh, I stopped using drawers a long time ago, but I did experience the stretching issue in the past. Uh, where I was able to turn one of these into a very flat and weird stretched out item that was not proportional at all to what it should have been. Uh, so they fixed that. And they fixed the gun wall visualizer issues. Um, does anyone have a guess on what they mean by that? Because, like, I'm guessing, like, maybe seeing the item on the wall and placing it was awkward or maybe it wasn't working as well it seems like it's working really well from far away though so placing items on the gun wall should be a lot easier wow it's actually so good what the heck you remember how much i would f i would fucking swear and get mad at the game because i couldn't put an item on the wall well look at how good it is it would disappear all the time and it wouldn't go on the wall Wow, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. So placing items on your gun wall should be way less irritating. Damn, that's incredible. It's so consistent. That's a huge upgrade. I would bitch and moan about that all the time. I'm going to grab two items and see how it works with two. Yeah, whichever one's forward most. Wow. That's a huge improvement, chat. Okay. So placing guns on the gun wall should be a lot easier now. I would be st I'd be so ragey at that stuff. So that's a really good improvement. Okay. <clears throat> they fixed the vector buttstock issue. I really don't know what they're meaning by that. Um, maybe the vector was missing the buttstock visually, and now it's there. I'm going to go take a peek at the vector. Let's go to the market and look. We can take a look at the macro off real quick, too. Let's see. Gun. SMG. <sighs> can I even buy a vector yet? Yeah, I can. You know what? I do remember this. I remember this used to be cut off and you could see through it. So the buttstock visually was just like not there before, at least in a lot of cases. So that's good. What the 10 mil one? Am I blind? Yeah, they, they both have the stocks. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I remember it wasn't rendering at all before. Sweet. Let me look at the Makarov. Mm. 
get a mag for it. Hmm, handgun. Yeah, so the macro app is not supposed to have a mag release, and I guess it did before, which is pressing that top button on your controller and dropping the mag. You have to actually pull it out, so that's good. What do we got next? Uh, they fixed stamina not regenerating when walking, but I've always had max stamina. It's been for a couple patches now where its stamina just was not going down at all. So I hope they finally fix that because, uh, look, I know a lot of people have gotten used to having infinite stamina, but it's not intentional. You're supposed to get out of breath and be tired uh, and not be able to sprint around everywhere because that's the whole point of energy drinks and energy chews is to replenish those things so you can move around if you're more prepared and bring those things into raid. It's supposed to reward those players to be able to get around and move around more quickly because they've brought those items in that recover stamina. So hopefully that's the case. We'll get in raid and test that out and make sure. Um, but I'm pretty sure that they have fixed stamina and that's a good thing. Uh, they fixed inconsistency with heartbeat sounds when under 25 health. They fixed hunger sounds playing in between the ears instead of the belly. So what th what that just means is like, and you've seen me get get hungry and raid very often. It sounds like it's right in between your ears where the sound's happening. But for spatial audio, you should be hearing your stomach rumbling down here right so the sound is just coming from the proper area now and because of that it's probably not as obscenely loud um, as it was before for you the player so that's a good thing Inzer, we can't look at the new gun we'd have to find it in raid you can't purchase it at all <laughs> Yes, Ashes. They said, well, we're going through the list still. We haven't gotten to that part of the list of the patch notes, but I read it beforehand, and they fixed the ceiling exploit per their patch notes. So that's good. We're almost done with this list. We've gone through all of this, and we're about halfway through here. Once we're done with that, we'll get in raid and test a few things out. And um, I will probably be uh, out of breath and exhausted by then because I'm still terribly sick. But uh, I wanted to cover the patch notes for you all. <laughs> because we've been waiting desperately for this patch, and I'm glad it's finally come. Uh, let's see. They fixed the ability to claim multiple rations at once. Some people were able to kind of claim the rations in a very specific way, and I'll show you what those are, uh, to where they wouldn't get only just one as intended they would be able to claim it a ton of times and get multiple out of it uh, so that doesn't happen anymore so for instance me spam clicking that a bunch of times uh, or other methods would would multiply the amount of rations that I would get uh, and that is now fixed so that's good people were making money that way and it's not intentional so I'm glad to see that fixed we want to keep the economy as stable as we can uh, let's see here fix the crash when raid time was over uh, I never experienced this because I've never ran out of time on raid to my knowledge but uh, if the raid timer went to zero on your watch and you were still in raid you're considered MIA, uh, and you basically just go back to the bunker as if you had died, but a lot of people were crashing hard when that happened. They'd have to relaunch the game, and that should be now fixed. Um, okay, this is a funny one here. So they fixed taking damage, dying, uh, if you were jumping around 15 seconds after spawning. So there's a lot of players that are very tweaky. I'm pretty tweaky myself, meaning like I move around a lot, but they jump a lot, okay? 
when they run around. So they'd spawn and raid, and around the 15 second mark, if they were jumping, for whatever reason, you would take lethal fall damage and die, okay? And this happened to a lot of people who were spam jumping and doing those sorts of things. So I think one of my sensors just turned off. Yeah, it did. Um, so that is should now be fixed. We're not going to see if you've ever encountered it in the past where all of a sudden you're just jumping and the the screen cuts to black and it says you died to fall damage. Uh, that's what was happening there. So that should be fixed and addressed. Let me plug in that sensor. Okay, what's next on our list? Oh no, did I get banned? <laughs> did you guys see the messages when I was AFK? So that's something we should actually talk about too. I broke my controllers. I'm gonna have to relaunch the game. Because I unplugged and plugged the sensor back in, they have a problem in game where if your hands <coughs> or any of your tracking disconnects, they don't reconnect for whatever reason. You can see my controllers here. They're tracking just fine. Um, so I'm going to have to relaunch the game. Uh, were you guys seeing the error message when I put my headset down, though? Where it said I was exploiting? Yeah, so let's talk about that chat. Because uh, I was reading through the... Uh, I, I was keeping an eye on the Discord as the patch went live. Uh, the Ghost of Tabor Discord. And people who are putting their headset down and walking away from it, they're getting that error message a ton uh, where it's saying, hey, you're, you're doing exploit stuff uh, and, you know, action's going to be taken against you uh, or whatever it says specifically. Um, I'm near positive this is just a message to scare people into thinking like, okay, I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing and I'm going to get in trouble for it. Um, but we're getting false. It's what's called false positives, okay? It's claiming that that's happening. We're getting that error message even though we're doing nothing wrong, right? I just put my headset down. I went and fixed one of my lighthouses that helps with tracking. And we see that error message pop up a bunch of times. So if you see that yourself, um, don't worry. You should be fine. As you can see, it just happened to me. I have all my stuff still. Nothing's wrong. Um, and they are aware of that. So um, don't stress and worry if you see that uh, you're okay. It's just, it's most likely just thinking you're like out of bounds and doing play space movement hacking and like moving where you shouldn't be because your headset is down and things are getting wonky. So you're good. Don't worry about all that chat. Dan, wipe your game. No, 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 no. I saw a bunch of people posting about it in the Discord. They're like, I just put my headset down and walked away, and I got all these air messages that I'm an exploiter. Like, I didn't do anything. I thought it was super funny. But just know if you see that, because uh, you're going to see it yourself when you put your headset down and come back. Uh, don't worry. Everything's fine. Uh, let's see here. What's next? Uh, they fixed a gun wall issue where pistols would give an error. Uh, I haven't experienced this myself, but if you had the issue in the past, it should be gone when you're trying to put pistols on your gun wall or take them off. This is it. What we've all been waiting for. They fixed the ceiling exploits on Missile Silo. This is where you were able to climb up the ladder backwards around the back side of the wall, get your head and body completely out of the map through the ceiling, and be a douchebag and shoot everybody uh, because you can see through walls now and have wall hacks up there. So good, that was ruining Missile Silo. It was ruining Missile Silo. 
Um, so I'm very glad that that's been addressed. They did it quickly. I know it might seem like a long time for you guys, but um, as soon as they were aware of it, they had the fix out within a week. So big ups, big props. We shouldn't see any of that anymore in the current state. Of course, given time, people are going to probably find something else, but it at least buys us time before they do and before it gets publicly known, and then we see a patch for that one as well. So um, this is just the curse of being in early beta in a game. People are going to find ways to break it. There's always going to be a percentage of people that like doing harmful things to the player base for their own personal selfish gain. And we will be notified of that, and the devs will be notified of it, and it will get patched out. It's just one of these tug-of-war games that every single game goes through in its development. So, good. I'm glad they fixed that. It was a horrible thing to go, go through. I think it's so funny everybody in chat is like, yeah, you're just a little dirty exporter, you piece of shit. You know? <laughs> uh, chat, you guys are funny. <clears throat> yeah, Silo is back. <laughs> yeah, you're, Enzo, you're going to find people who are still trying to get their heads through the wall. It's not going to work anymore, so they're going to like look dumb, just slamming their head against the wall, and then, yeah, free kill. And they deserve to get shot in the back for that. Uh, let's see here. They fixed penetration on some metal fences. This is just going to require some testing since they're not specifying what metal fences, but you've seen in some of my past gameplay and videos where I would be shooting at, um, there's a very specific area. There's that prison, uh, that prison tower that's in the middle of military base on silo. There's that balcony on the second floor that's very open that a scav likes to path and patrol around um, and when you're far away you can't see a chain link fence about this high going around the perimeter and when you shoot into that in the past um, the bullets would never go through my bullets would just get eaten by that fence I couldn't see I'm guessing they are allowing for penetration now, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, let me know what you found out in the comments below. Yeah, I'm doing that for YouTube chat. Um, and let me know what walls you've been able to penetrate uh, or fences you've been able to penetrate that you couldn't before or vice versa. So test those things out and let us know. Swammy's asking a very controversial question, which I will answer. Uh, Swammy says, what do you think about all the TikTokers that make videos about exploits? Okay, look, in my opinion, in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, you can throw it in the garbage, it doesn't mean everybody has to agree with me, but I think that it's a really scummy and selfish thing to do for personal gain, because Posting exploits or things that allow you to do cheaty things in video games get a ton of views, okay? Little kids and scummy people love doing that stuff to give themselves an edge. So it's a really easy way to just boost your follow count, boost your view count, and boost your exposure, right? But the aftermath of said things... Look, if you care about the game that you're playing and making videos on, I care about Ghosts of Tabor, you're actually hurting the game drastically because you're making it much more well-known for these exploits uh, to be performed and done. So the frequency of those things happen much, much more. So the players that actually want to play the game and enjoy it normally are getting punished and dissuaded and are choosing not to play anymore because it's becoming so popular for people to cheat and do these exploits. And that's very damaging to the reputation uh, and and future development of the game that we're talking about, in this game, in this case, Ghosts of Tabor. So it has these drastic negative effects um, that I think those people should be aware of. Um, and it's just, it feels, ah, look, people aren't going to like this, but it just, it feels, it's so 
selfish, right? Because they're doing it to boost their views and all those things that I said earlier. It's an easy way to get a bunch of views. And I just think that's scummy. That's my opinion. You don't have to agree with me. But that's what I think. You should instead, when you find out exploits and things like that, instead of posting them publicly, send them directly to the devs so that they can address it. Because the less people that know about it, the less damage those things will cause, right? Um, but I'm going to get off my soapbox and we'll move on to the next thing. So they fixed the ladder exploit at the ceiling near elevator door. So they have two uh, descriptions here where they were sealing exploits. We know the latter one. I'm not sure what they mean by the other one, but overall, they're just doubling down that they fixed sealing exploits. Okay, so that's a good thing. We talked about this a little bit before, and I was hinting at it, and it looks like I was right. Uh, purple keycard rooms now require an orange keycard instead. This is a fantastic way to render all of the duped purple keycards useless. These are non-duped card, um, but and I did have a, a lot of legit cards here, but now they're all useless, which I think is fine. Um, it's a great way to just be like, hey, it, now instead the vault door takes the orange card, so there's a new item that's dropping in, so we've removed all of the duped purple key cards from circulation. You can sell these cards, but they sell for zero dollars, uh, and it basically just deletes them. So it's just a good way to reset the economy for vault key cards. Now key cards will actually feel valuable again, and you're gonna see them much rarer uh, than when everybody was duping them. And switching the color of the key card prevented them from having to do the back backpack wipe that they were talking about before. The only reason they were going to wipe the backpacks is because apparently you could not store key cards on your benches or anywhere else. They would get deleted when you came back uh, if you quit the game and came back. So the only place to actually save your key card was backpacks. So instead of doing that and forcing everybody to empty their bags, they just changed the key card necessary to open those. Very, very good thing. I'm very glad that they did that. So that's huge. Big Al says, but won't they dupe orange cards? So the duping should not work the way it did in the past. Um, over time, people might find a new way to dupe, but it at least buys us time until they do. Um, and so they can't dupe those things anymore. Because if I recall... I saw someone posted it in my Discord, um, what Spooner does. And Spooner is one of those people who makes these exploits very well known. So he would tell you to put the card here and then put the card up here, leave, reset the room, or go to the market and come back. And then there would be a key card down below and up above. I'll go to the market. I'm pretty sure he said you have to go to the market. And come back. And that there would be two key cards, one down here and one up there, because the save thing was weird. So that duping method is not working any longer. So no big Al. And the in the existing way people were duping key cards, that no longer works. So they won't be able to just dupe the orange ones now that they switched it. So that's very good. Uh, very, very good. Uh, we're almost done with this list chat. So they disabled selling purple key cards. I talked about this a little bit before. They will be deleted instead when you try and sell them. That way people still can't profit from the piles of duped key cards they had. That's very good. They removed the founding uh, father uh, DLC on meta platforms unless you already owned it. And from what I could gather, 
the founding father is exactly as the name implies. You're an early adopter of the game, so if you happen to purchase it in that early time window, then you get access to those benefits, and since the game is aging and getting older, those benefits aren't going to continue to be available for purchase. It was just that early time window that you had an opportunity to get that, which gives you access to starting off at, you know, trader level two and getting extra money when you start each wipe, as well as a handful of gear uh, in comparison to the base game. Um, they had one thing listed as known issues, that you're unable to sell new items from the conveyor belt. And so all these new items should be the new gun, but that might not even be included because they only notated the new water bottles and things like that. So if you bring those items out of raid, the canteens, the thermos, things of that nature, um, they don't currently have uh, the value to sell them programmed in yet. So they're just not going to be worth anything to sell. So just put them aside or don't bring them out. Um, Unless you like collecting them, then you can put them on the shelf. And that brings us to a close of all the patch notes. We went through them from top to bottom. Um, I am incredibly excited and happy that this patch has released. And it is, look at it, it's a massive list of things that they adjusted and fixed. And everything I've gone through felt good so far. Now, here's the other thing. Always with new patches, there's going to be new bugs, okay? It's just how it goes. So, let's do a few raids. And we'll see if we notice anything out of place, if things feel weird, if things are buggy. Now, with any sort of good testing, the more raids you have, the larger your sample sizes of data, um, the more accurate uh, our findings will be. So we're going to know more over the days and weeks that come what these bugs are and what to watch out for. But let's see if anything present themselves to us right away. So I think what we'll do here is I want to switch. I want to switch to my hardcore account and go in naked um, so we can just play around with the world and also get some footage for God. Is it do I even have time? Yeah, I have time. I think we'll play till about 12 a.m. I guess it just depends on how I'm feeling. I want to at least play some raids to test out the patch before I leave. Um, and I'm not, I mean, I'm feeling terrible sickness wise, but I think, I think we can get through some. All right, chat. You guys ready? Ooh, chat's broken. It should fix itself though. Chat, what do you guys think about the patch notes so far and me going through the testing? Give me some ones in chat if you think it's a good thing and you're excited, or give me some twos if you've noticed a buggy mess and you hate it. Or threes if you haven't tried it yet. And that it sounds good. Look, I slept, uh... I slept for like 10 hours, and then I was up for like two hours, and then I slept for another four hours. I took a nap. So I've got a lot of sleep in me right now. And I woke up and got on stream here. I will get more sleep, but let me let me play just a little, little tiny bit. Maybe a five. Okay, good to know. We see a lot of ones. We see some threes. We see some fours and fives. Good to know. All right, chat. I'm going to switch to my hardcore account which means I have to log out of Steam and relaunch VR. So give me a quick moment and I'll be right back.
Alright. We are switched over to the other account. Um... So because I don't want to risk anything while doing testing, and if I do happen to, you know, pull out a huge kit, I'd rather it be on my hardcore account. God damn, look at how much stuff we have, chat. Is this crazy? We've got so much armor. I th <laughs> You know what's funny, chat? Is I think I have more stuff. Maybe it's about the same. I feel like I have more stuff on my hardcore account than my main account now. Maybe not. It's close, though. It's very close, which kind of makes me laugh. Borean was is playing right now, checking out the pouch. My wall is messed up badly. Just re-grab everything and put it against the wall, and you should be good. We might be able to see the new gun if we're lucky and find it in a box, yes. Really, Aboriani? What platform are you on? Because mine doesn't crash. So look, you can see one of my guns. All the attachments after the patch are all wonky. But all you have to do is just grab it, reattach it for me, and everything's fine. Good. Done. Fine. Oh. <laughs> I, ju <laughs> I just... I just explained how I didn't crash at all, and there you go. Okay, well, that's good to know. <laughs> oh, what is the timing on that? You can't script that shit. Oh my god, that's so funny. Alright, well, well, un <laughs> understandable, Boriani. Uh, maybe you should holster it. I might have holstered it and then put it away and I wasn't crashing because I did this a bunch of times on my main account when I was going through the patch notes and I was not crashing. So let me see if there's a way that we can avoid that. Yeah, it didn't happen to me when I was fixing my guns uh, prior. <laughs> oh wait, did it delete that gun? Did we lose the AS Val? We might have. Let's hope we didn't lose the Val. If we did, oh well. We'll move on with our lives. Damn it, we definitely lost it. Uh, what can I test this on? None of my other guns are broken. I'll have to test it on my other account. Okay, this mag is pretty broken. So let's see. So I'm going to take the mag out that's broken. I'll pop it back in. Except I can't. I think this has to be open. Nope, this is broken. Okay, well, all right. <laughs> we see some bugginess. Hmm. So pre-existing guns before the patch might be, might be wonky afterwards. What if I just reset them? No. I'm gonna bring it into raid since it's broken anyways, and see if it's fixed when I get into raid. Let's see how it goes. It's okay, Boriani. All is good. So let's see if we can find a workaround for this. So let's get in raid. And I'll see if I can get this gun to actually load once we get in raid. Because once everything reloads itself, it might fix it. Um, so you might notice some awkwardness with your pre-existing guns. It's funny because everything was working just fine beforehand. No, definitely can't load it still. So this gun's broken. Might have to just sell it. Dude, it's so dark. 
I feel like they made the game darker, you guys. Am I tripping? Or is the game darker? Everything is way darker. Which I don't mind necessarily. It's just so, so dark. People like Risa. I'm gonna kill these Phoenixes. There's a lot of gunfire happening over here. Trying to see if I hear anybody else. I'm gonna reposition. I'm go wide here. I think there was a big player fight here. <laughs> Fuck! I got caught in the, out in the open. Damn, that would have been nice to scoop up that loot too and take it out on the hardcore account. Okay. Well, gunplay felt good. I actually like the lighting being darker. I don't mind it. Debug all in the trader room? Oh, that's true, you guys. Oh, we should test that out. Basically, you throw things on the conveyor belt and then refund them, and they'll be brand new and, you know, recoded. And that should fix a lot of the issues. That's a super good idea. Dude, the game's just giving me guns. Alright, I'm gonna keep playing a bit aggressive here. There's people through here. So dark. I think he was naked. What a backpack. Where was that? Back out here? Thanks for the follow. It's a scav running around on, on metal. Oh, it's so dark. I actually really like it. Bunch of kills happened out here. Wonder where they're at. I heard a backpack open down center. Yep, someone came through here. I think someone's at squeaky. Just heard someone rack a bolt. Hold the pin. They smoked it to get out. I'm gonna sit here and wait for them. I have to pop a headshot or I'm dead. What you doing in there, big guy? I 
I'm worried about getting pushed though. I need him to come out sooner than later. Just one. Backpacks are huge for me on hardcore though. I take that. Take his extra gun. There's someone up above. I need to get out of here. I'm gonna try and grab some armor before I leave though. I'm gonna be a bit greedy. Ammo modules are super important. Let me see if I can get some armor out. The shotgun there. It's so much darker, I really like it. Four grips are super good. Come on, give me some armor. Yes! Clear. I could stash this gun. Do I be greedy? I think I'm just gonna get out with this stuff. This is actually a big haul. A backpack, armor, armor modules. I'll get out and reset. That's big. Yeah, what Ash just said is pretty good. Also, noticing the consistency of their movement. Phoenixes move very consistently and not sporadically. So if you hear changes in the speed that they're walking or the speed of the footsteps, then um, you can better guess that that's a player and not a Phoenix. So that's super important. I'm gonna put these away. Super good, we got some guns out. We got more armor out. Super good, super, super good. I'll put this away. We've got too many of these guns. One day I'm just gonna bring them in and dual wield them and just go nuts. Oh, got a pistol too. Okay. That was a good raid. We got some much needed stuff out. Alright, let's go again. So far, gunplay feels good. We're gonna do one naked island run as well to test things out there. We'll have a little bit more time to play around with guns and, and fuck around on the island. So um, we'll do that after this missile silo run as long as it doesn't end super quickly. I don't think so, PJ. I never changed any of the brightness levels on my headset. I think the game is just darker. I'm pretty sick still, T, but I wanted to check out the patch notes, so I'm here for a short time. Illusion trick in your storage room? What is that? <laughs> Hello, Quafy's garbage. Uh, I think the new hand mechanics are great so far. Like, everything feels really good in my opinion. Oh my god, the game is just giving me stuff for free, chat. It's just giving me stuff. Phoenixes feel good. I'm gonna rush those players. 
If I can get to the outside room and get some armor real quick too, that would be really nice. I think I'm gonna rush to the outside room and grab armor. close by might be underneath me there's someone in this room to my right Get wrecked. Is that a G3? You're kidding me, right? Oh my god, I gotta get out of here. We gotta go. That's a player. That's a player. Oh fuck, I can't extract here. I need this G3. I need to get this out. I have to wait for him. Damn, this is not an extract chat. Fuck. We need to buy some time. I need to get this G3 out. Here he comes. It's a bad angle to hold. You might be able to see my right shoulder. Oh, he's not pushing, he's just hanging out just to my left. Moving around a little bit. I know he saw me. Getting a little closer. Just hanging around to the left still. <sighs> Gameplay feels really good though, chat. I haven't noticed any like game breaking bugs so far. Guns feel good, map feels good, not getting shot through walls feels good, not seeing key cards and vault doors open every time in silo feels good. He's waiting for me. Yeah, he's camping me. Oh, he's getting shot at by someone else. Bastard, man. He should get impatient here soon. I'll wait him out. Shotgun, too.
He hasn't moved in a long time, though. I hope this guy isn't patient. He's being patient so far. He might be gone, though. Do I check it, chat, or do I wait? I'm pretty. I'm hoping he thought I extracted. Because I'm up in a corner, so even if he peeked it a little bit, he would see into the room here and not see me unless he came all the way inside. Because he wouldn't be able to see this corner unless he came all the way in. He might be gone. And take it real slow. need to get this G3 out, so I just need to go extract. Probably gonna book it to tunnels if I can. God, he's still kind of close. Okay, he's gone. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Shit, someone's here to my left. I'm just gonna run. Come on, baby. Get me out of here. Going to tunnels. God, I hope he's not in tunnels. Please don't be in tunnels. Go, 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 go. I'm gonna be greedy. I'm gonna check this box back here. Maybe we can find the new gun. though. Alright, let's go. Come on, baby. Sweet! We secured a G3. I couldn't ask for more. Oh my god. Let's go. I don't know what the new gun is. I mean, I know the name of it, but I don't know what it looks like. We're just gonna have to find it in raid. Another drum mag Thompson. Those are huge too. So fun to use in uh, missile silo. Damn, we got another G3. I'm very excited for that. Very excited for that. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit it here. I need to move some stuff around. I think I wanna get rid of these AKs here. This SKS, I think, is throwing things for a loop, too. Just too close. My dragon off might be too close, too. Remember how I said this was working really well? <coughs> I might just be trying to put it too high. Okay. Go ahead. I'm gonna move the AKs back here. Oh, 
Okay. Sweet. Chat, I'm sick. Save me. Alright, we're gonna do a naked island run, and then I'm probably gonna head out and go rest more. Um, because we can play with guns a little bit longer, and play with movement and other weird things on the island more. As long as I don't die to Phoenixes or players right away. So let's give it a try. And we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Tommy Gun's super fun. I wonder how it is in After the Fall, Big Al. It'd be fun to try. Yeah, bringing in nades is super smart. Very good raid. I know, the wall is scary. I think it's just bugging out with existing guns being weird, but do what they suggested earlier, is throw guns that are acting goofy into the conveyor belt and then refund them, and it should fix all that stuff. Thanks, Swag. New patch so far has been actually really, really great. Yeah, they changed the, uh, the reload physics on the AK and other guns, but it feels so good. I can show you when we get back since you missed it. Free armor? Oh my god, you're kidding me. And a pistol. <gasps> new, one of the new water bottles. Where's the Fenix that spawns here? I need his gun. Who's he shooting at? He's not shooting at me. Oh shit. I gotta get out of here. That Fenix is shooting at another player. We can go to Boathouse and try and secure a gun. We can at least grab some meds to heal up, too. The game is running really smooth, too. Feels very good. This looks like new texturing, too. I don't remember this grass being here. I need to get my hands on a rifle if I can. I'm just gonna rush down here and hope that there's a few Fenixes in here that are carrying rifles that I can steal. Jesus, calm down, you guys are so loud. Behind the door. Good. Rifle. Okay. Alright, so we got a rifle at least. Um, I don't have any backup mags, only because I don't have a backup uh, like rig to put mags on. I could carry them. I might just carry one. If we can find... Rest in peace. One shot, one kill. Backpack? No. Oh, uh, I have a sight. Oh, you're kidding me! Bro, why am I so lucky right now? Alright, well now I have to survive. And an optic for it. How am I so lucky? Now I have to survive. <laughs> I can't die. Let's see if any players are pushing the noise I made. Looking out of glass windows looks a lot better too. Everything just feels really clear. I think I'm gonna head over to, um, over to Lighthouse side. 
and check for some goodies there. I need to top off my health. Remember, I don't have any backup mags or heals. But let's get out of boathouse as early as we can. I'm gonna start running down the beach to the right. Should be a little bit safer over there. In comparison to the left, left at military base. I can't believe the lock right now. I need to find some armor. If I can get to garage and get some armor there, that would be great. I don't know if I'll make it before I die, though. There's bound to be some players over here. Radio tower could have some armor for me, too. Oh, wait, I have level 3 armor. What am I talking about? What else do I need? I could find a backpack over there. Do I be greedy, though, or just get out with this stuff? I'm gonna be greedy, chat. For the content. Is Fenix is rolling around down there. No one's down at the base yet. Thanks for the follow. Which means I could roll through there and potentially pick up some some goodies there. Oh, there's a two stack jumping down from Radio Tower right now. Thanks for the follow again. I'm getting fucked up right now by AI. I don't have heals either. <sighs> I might just dip. Like, I want to kill those guys, but... I came in naked and not geared. I kind of would rather get out with this stuff. These fucking dudes. Those players might be coming to check out the noise. I'm gonna book it. If I had meds, I'd go for the fight, but I just don't have meds right now, and losing this G3 would not be good on my hardcore account, especially with a 30 round mag. Please be an extract for me. Did they remove this extract? This isn't an extract anymore. I'm gonna have to go to, uh, probably the beach. Hopefully no one's in Lighthouse. I'm gonna cross here. The people up at radio hopefully aren't coming down this way. Still getting shot at. Just run, man. Just run. Hope it's not players that saw me. Sweet, stamina works now too. That's good. Alright, let's chill here for a second for stamina, and then we'll try and get out of here. Everything is clear, but when you shoot someone or get shot and crash, that's awesome. Well, that sucks. Have you been crashing a lot lately? I did rack the G3. Yeah, suppressor would be a big find, too. I haven't noticed stims being weird. Not me personally, at least. Alright, let's get out of here. Let me just peek slowly here. 
I'm going to have to deal with that Fenix there because he's going to shoot at me. But as soon as I do, if those players, that two stack is nearby, they're going to come check it out. So I need to do this quickly. You're kidding me. He sees me. I gotta go. We gotta go now. Fuck, I hope they don't peek. Go, 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 go. Oh my god, I might die here. Oh, please tell me that two stack is farther away. Please. This might not even be an X check for me, I didn't even check. It's... okay, it is. Oh my god, it's much more exposed here now. Less cover. From what I can tell. Whew, we made it out. I can't believe I got that stuff. I just went in naked to test out stuff in the game. And I came out with good armor, a G3, with a sight. Oh, that's three G3s. And a 30 uh, round mag for it, too. I couldn't really ask for more. That's so lucky, chat. That is so lucky. We have so much armor, too. Dude, my hardcore account is actually stacked. <laughs> actually stacked. This is kind of insane. We have so much stuff. I'm gonna have to start a second Glock row. Wow. Okay. Um, so overall impressions? The patch is fantastic. Yeah, there's gonna be some new bugs, especially with your old guns on the wall, with all the attachments being weird. But, uh, you know, if you're having issues where you're, you're crashing or you have a chance to crash or mags aren't loading on your existing guns, go ahead, take them over to the trade room, throw them on the conveyor belt, refund them, and it should fix all of that and reset the guns so they're not bugged from last patch, and you should be more than fine. Um, the fact that uh, ceiling exploiters and dupers have been addressed and can no longer bring in all those crazy guns... Ah, oh, so good. So, so, so good. That was ruining the game. No lie. Like, I was... I was hating it because of those reasons. So I'm really glad they addressed it. I know it might have felt like a long time for a lot of you, but dealing with it within a week is pretty damn good. So big ups to the devs. Appreciate it. I'll show you quickly, uh, for those of you who were asking earlier, uh, the change on the AK. I did show this off earlier in stream, but I'll show it again. But um, the AK mags, they now work how they should IRL. And what I mean by that is AK mags have this little, this little nub, okay? And that's supposed to be rocked in and snapped in place inside there. You can actually see where it snaps in right there. And so you can't just shove consistently, you know, a mag in like this, like you used to. You need to put it in at an angle and then rock it back, okay? That's how you properly reload an AK mag IRL. And now they're, they're using that. So just make sure you do that. You go in at an angle and rock it in and you will reload just fine. Same for when you're pulling it out. Don't try and pull it out back this way. It doesn't work like that. It's supposed to come out at that rocked angle. So push it forward and it'll come right out. Now, this whole mechanic of how IRL AKs work is the whole reason you can do these AK slaps to um, change the mag. So because it's supposed to rock forward, all you have to do is slam the mag into it underneath and replace it. So this will work very consistently and the physics and the feeling of it is really, really good. So just remember that when you're reloading a mag, an AK mag next, and it's really, really cool. I think it's fantastic. So just remember, put it in, rock it back. 
That angle is really important. And that's it for me, chat. I'll give some points out. We <laughs> we got a lot of stuff on today's uh, today's hardcore runs, just trying to test out the the patch notes. Um, so I'm happy with that. That's a good added benefit. I'm still super sick IRL, so I'm gonna go rest. But um, I was happy to at least get on and check the patch notes out. I'll make a little video on YouTube condensing all the patch notes in case you missed any of it. We literally went through each item one by one and uh, uh, tested and explained every single thing on the patch notes. So that video will be coming out for you all. Any last things, chat, that you have questions for me before I leave? Yeah, use the silence AK. The AK is so fun to reload now. Yep, cool tomato works like that in Pavlov too. I will sleep, I promise. I promise, Big Al. I'm trying to get better as soon as I can. I'm drinking tons of liquids. I'm getting daily vitamins in me, lots of vitamin C. Um, I'm eating very healthily. I'm sleeping a lot more than I usually do. Uh, I have a really good immune system, so I should have this tackled in another day or so. Um, I'm thinking it's probably COVID, to be honest, um, but uh, I can kick COVID's ass, so it'll be okay. We'll be good. Quaffles Garbage, good to see a new name in here. Uh, I saw you a little earlier today. Uh, you're very sweet. Good night. I appreciate the get wells. Same for you, T. Good to see you. Thanks for the get well wishes. Tomato, you guys all care about me. You guys are so sweet, and I appreciate that. I promise I will... I will listen to all of you and I'll take care of myself, all right? It's just me. I'm all by myself. I got no one else but you, chat. Uh, but, uh, but I'll take care of myself here, IRL. I'll sleep enough. Buy ashes, buy swag, cool, tea, quaffles, PJ, 24K, uh, Big Al, Aboriani, PJ, uh, I'll throw some points out before you leave, and until next time, okay? I will see you all later. Ban 10 from making videos and streams until he gets better. I can't! I'm so, like... <sighs> I care about being consistent with you guys. You've all received me so well, so I want to be here consistently for you, as well as the videos. So, uh, through sickness and health, chat, um, I'm here for you, all right? God damn, are we married, chat? I've never been married. Is this what it's like? <laughs> God damn it. I shouldn't have laughed like that. That hurt. Um, we're st I'm still going to keep up with the daily videos. Now nah, you're going to get it. I, I mean, I enjoy it too. I don't do it just for you guys. But your motivation and, and you guys receiving me well helps motivate me to stay on top of it so uh we'll get it keith yes he got the end of the stream so you'll get some points um we're probably gonna do 20 dollars amazon gift card giveaways every week uh, i think it'd be a fun thing to do to give back also keep an eye out <coughs> <coughs> shit hold on keep an eye out for the um the discord because i'm gonna announce when we're giving away the uh deluxe audio battery comfort strap from kiwi design this is like a hundred dollar product or so um so for those of you who have oculus quest um we'll announce how that's going down and i'd love to give you one um so we'll see how it is <clears throat> All right, chat, my voice is dying. I can't speak much longer without <coughs> dying. <coughs> so instead of coughing in your ears live on stream, I will end it now. And uh, thanks for all the support, chat. I am humbly thankful. You guys gifted so many subs, so many bits. Um, I, I'm, thank you. I'll see you next time, okay?